Hello everybody, it's Oshaziz here. Hope you're all doing well. Um, there's a uh, little deal going around out there about a um, magnetic resonator, some kind of gizmo, whatever. It's a, basically it's a magnet. It's a, give me that. Dog on it. It's a magnet. It's a spring, and it has a little insulator in between there, and all that kind of jazz. You know, another uh, supposed free energy device. But you know, whenever these uh, people do these kind of things like that, I always watch to see how they're cheating, so that I can uh, learn a couple things or whatever. So I'm uh, calling this uh, video uh, "Simple Magnet Battery." or magnet battery for short I don't know I'll figure that out when I get there but anyway yeah uh, it's a really simple uh, concept that's going on here um, first off this is a little capacitor that I got because I want you to see that uh, I'm gonna be able to charge it up a little bit with my simple magnet battery <clears throat> so let's take that off of there and I've got two separate magnets. I got this magnet over here. I got this magnet over here. And we're not going to use the spring because that's not necessary. And if you see that little black mark on your thumb right there, anytime you're messing around with strong magnets, you might want to be very careful because uh, strong magnets like to slap together. <laughs> Don't do it! All right, so what I got here is basically a uh, just a piece of an old sock that I cut off that uh, got soaked in this little damp and salt water. And so I'm going to put that on there and carefully connect my other magnet. Arr! All right, so you see I just got these two magnets and a little wet sock with a little bit of uh, salt water on it. So now I'm going to connect my, my leads if I can get them untangled. One to that side and one to that side. <clears throat> and so you see right now we've got 0.24 somewhere around about. Let's see if we can move this on a little wetter spot. Ugh! I'm stop doing that. It hurts. Yeah. All right, so there we go. Uh, it's a little bit better. Anyway, let me uh, reset all that there. So I want, I want that. The more surface area you get on here, the better. This is not very wet. Yeah, that's that's pretty wet. All right, let's try that. Ta -da. See if it's going to go up or down. Yeah. Yes, uh, some of you, some folks ain't going to think this is that big of a deal. But for those folks that think outside the box and uh, you know pay attention, it's worth looking into. All right. Point twenty-seven twenty-eight. Had it up to over half a volt earlier, but no biggie. I got my colors mixed here. Ta -da. Let's put that there and that there. I'm using my yellow as my negative here. And I'm gonna see if I can get some juice into that capacitor. So we'll let that sit there for a second. I'll make sure ain't no. See, there really isn't nothing to this. Um, any metals, some better than the others. A uh, couple plates with an electrolyte in between there, sort of an insulator. That's that uh, sock that has the. Uh, <laughs> the chemical on it and so basically that's what they're doing in these deals to get uh, an actual battery out of uh, they'll go through all the uh, steps to showing you that there ain't no battery in there 
but in reality the insulator is uh, the part the electrolyte for the battery and the, each of the magnets on uh, well in their, their case is metal spring on one side right there and let me try something here just for giggles let's take that off of there take this off of there let's put the metal spring on there See if that makes a difference. Look at there. Nothing. So essentially you don't even need that spring. You got 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.25, whatever, whatever. Uh, not even a half a volt yet, but I actually had it up to over uh, 0.65 uh, volts. Almost uh, gaining on a volt there. So anyway, let's uh, hook that back up and see if we can charge that capacitor any. Do 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 do. That ought to be good enough. Now let's disconnect this and this, and see if that capacitor has any juice in it. Well, had for a second. <laughs> let's try it again. Point two six. Ah, pulled that out. 0.26 is pull them off at same, same time. Alright. So in, anyway, it's it's a basically just a simple uh, chemical battery, but as I thought it was pretty cool and wanted to share it with you because you could take two magnets, uh, slap an electrolyte in between the two of them, uh, the more surface area, the better result you're probably going to get. And haven't tried it, but I'm sure you could run them in series, uh, magnet on top of magnet uh, with insulators in between there. <coughs> and so that I don't make this video too doggone long, I want to try something real quick. Ugh. Doggone it. I hate it when that happens. All right, now you two stay apart talking to the magnets. <laughs> See, we still got uh, 0 0.04. It's, it's discharging. And actually, with these cheapo meters, while you got your battery on there, believe it or not, it's actually discharging when you're testing the uh, voltage. What I got right here is some 100% lemon juice. I'm going to see if this lemon juice actually makes this uh, process just a little bit stronger than what it was. I'll put my wet rag down in there. This stuff is old too, so probably going to stink or something. Alright, let's wring that out a little bit. Let's try that. Put that over that magnet. And try to carefully get these two together without smashing my finger. <clears throat> 0 0.19. Heck, that's worse than the salt. That's going up a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, cheat and charge it a hair. Negative on there. See, this will drop back down to whatever it's possibly going to be able to do. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that uh, that's a uh, neosphere right there, so there's really not a whole lot of surface area on that uh, that magnet right there. But we're at point zero point three five and dropping. <clears throat> Slowing down about point zero three two. Just for giggles, let's rearrange our magnets again. I don't want to make this video too long because I'm trying to film in HD and somebody will tell me whether or not it was a, made a difference or not because I have no idea. 
so if it's still a crummy picture I'm sorry folks but I'm a mad science guy not a photographer and look at that a little bit of rearrange voltage went up a hair now let's see if we can charge our capacitor a little bit Do 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 do. I'm gonna cheat. <clears throat> That'll bounce back down to wherever its maximum should be. But you see. That's just a little, uh, let's short these two together. That's just a little bit of uh, lemon juice, an old piece of a sock, and uh, two magnets, one neosphere and one other. It doesn't matter on the magnets. It's just, those are what I had. And I'm trying to make sure that I don't have any of this rag touching any of these two probes here so that they're not uh, getting a, a bad reading. Now let's see if that capacitor had any juice left in it. There you go, look at that. It's going down, it's discharging, but it did charge. Do it again. 58, did it again. All right, folks, that's about it. <clears throat> Simple uh, two batter, uh, two two magnets, uh, in, any uh, cloth in between. I tried paper, but the paper gets wet, and if you ain't careful when you put it together, it shreds because of the magnet sliding, slamming together. And uh, like I said, don't uh, don't give yourself one of those right there. That that's not fun. Looks like it's fluctuating between point six zero. And the longer you use this, the uh, yeah. look, I got a package in the mail. Yay! <laughs> Are you video? Yeah, I am. That was my wife delivering a package. All right, folks, that's uh, over half a volt with two magnets, a piece of wet sock with lemon juice and probably a little bit of salt in there from the salt water portion of it <clears throat> and charging a little capacitor so let's take the capacitor off of there and that's just the battery by itself all right and so let's hook the capacitor back up make sure i get on the right side negative and positive To do there's a little line on the side of that tells you where the, the one with the lines the negative side so er doggone it make a mess all right that's the capacitor draining down that's the magnet charging it back up Alright folks, hope you enjoyed that video. If you, if you like it, there's more to come. Lemon juice, couple batteries, old piece of sock. <laughs> or not a couple batteries, couple uh couple magnets, old piece of sock. And all you all it is is essentially a chemical battery. No big deal to most folks, like I said. So, you know. I don't know, I'll get a hit again with a thumbs downer, but I don't care anymore. Um it's simple things like this that are the gears in the machine that I'm talking about you see that's up to point 70 now so maybe the longer that thing sets there uh, maybe it'll get a little bit more charged out of it I'll let it set there and see how high it goes up and then maybe I'll do a video later on it but uh, try this at home because uh, all you need 
is either some salt water or some 100% lemon juice, an old piece of cloth, and um, a couple magnets and a junkie voltmeter. No cheating going on here, folks. Just simple science. Peace and love. Stay tuned. Yeah, a little short addendum. Uh, I while I was sitting here and uh, looking at my package that my wife jumped in my video and delivered to me. <laughs> I love her. Anyway, uh, it was kept on charging, so we're at 0 0.71. Uh, that's pretty good for uh, just an old sock and a couple uh, magnets. That's a simple, co uh, simple chemical battery. Anyway, um, I'll keep an eye on it later. No more short addendums in this video because, I'm, like I said, I'm filming it in HD, so I hope it comes out looking better. If it does, I'll try to keep it this way from now on. And if I can't, like I said, I'm a mad science guy, not a camera guy. <laughs> Peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned. Okay, wait, don't go away. I said no more addendums, but I got this crazy idea and I hook this uh, little uh, power supply right here, which is a 12 volt uh, DC power supply. And some of that voltage right there is the capacitors in here that are charged. But uh, either way, I plugged it in to see if I could ramp the voltage up on that right there. Looks like it's all going down to me. Now it's unplugged. And disconnected. Alright, so let's see where that levels back out real quick. Do 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 do. See, it's slowing down, getting to whatever it's going to be. I think it stopped around about 81 last time I did this. Zero point eight seven six. Five, four. Oh yeah, and if you also notice, I uh, wadded that up to try to give it a little bit more surface area. One eight three eight two. In the video, I'm stopping at one. It's going down. So anyway, try this at home and see if you get some better results than I did. But either way, you got a, a uh, basically a simple ba uh, chemical battery using two magnets. Peace and love, everybody. Still going down. <laughs> but uh, don't fall for those uh, free energy devices until you test them. Peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned. And don't pay for them unless you know for 150,000% beyond a shadow of a doubt that they do work. And don't smash your thumb with a magnet.